Hi guys, today I want to explain to you how to fix this error which happens when doing the entity framework migrations. You see, unable to create an object of type application DB context for the different patterns to support a design time. So it means at design time, my application DB context was not recognized by the entity framework. So to fix this error, I did a few things. So just first, few things we can obviously do is just to make sure that your project is the actual project uh, you do at a startup so for example make sure this setup start project is the one they're running second thing you can do in the pm console make sure your default project is the entity project that you're running or any project that you're running just to make sure that you are running the project which you are doing the migration for uh, third thing i did i just want to make sure that i captured the exact error because this error seems generic it doesn't tell you much so i did the verbose so in my command i added Hyphen verbose. This gave me a, a clue of what exactly is going on. So you see here, no static method create host builder was found, and no application service provider was found. It means my entry framework was not able to be recognize the the builder class. So I have to make sure that. So this gave me a clue that maybe the my my packages for the entry framework they are not updated. So we, for this, you have to make sure that go to the your project and choose manage node packages and make sure the project the all the packages that you have here they are compatible with the with the, with the framework that you're running so what i was doing i was running dotnet 6 and i saw that some of these um, packages were old version like you're running version 5 so they gave me so visual studio gave me a clue that i need to run some updates here so when i run the updates it upgraded my packages for the entry framework to the latest version of version .NET version 6. So once I did this, I went back, I ran my migrations again, and this time I did not get the error, and my migrations were run successfully, and I was able to create my identity tables. I see here ASP dot my roles, and after I did this, I just updated my database using this command update database, and I was able to run the migration successfully. So that's one thing that you guys can do, and and make sure that this error doesn't happen. Okay, thank you. Take care.